We are entering a very divisive world where anything that is unfamiliar or different from us is viewed with fear and suspicion. Our societies are getting more and more parochial and we start viewing every stranger as an hostile person and anyone who is not with us by definition as being against us. In an interconnected world, an absolute attitude like this will result in a very, very divisive society. Tolerance, which is one of the core founding values of our country, like wisdom, requires the ability to hold two contrarian ideas within the same head and evaluate each one on merit with empathy before coming to a conclusive judgment. If we don't do that, we will end up becoming victims of our own stereotypes and acting out of fear rather than logical understanding. मेरा नाम सविता है और मेरा ये सपना था कि धराबी क्लीन एंड ग्रीन रहना चाहिए पर वहाँ पे बहुत सारे कचरे थे जब भी मैंने धराबी डायरी ज्वाइन की तो वहाँ पे बताया गया कि कोई भी प्रॉब्लम सॉल्व कर सकते हैं तो मैं सोची क्यों ना मैं क्लीन एंड ग्रीन के ऊपर ऐप बनाऊँ तो फिर वहाँ पे एम इन्वेंटर के द्वारा से मैंने अपना क्लीन एंड ग्रीन ऐप बनाया और उसमें चार फीचर्स है जैसे जहाँ पर भी कचरा रहेगा वहाँ का फोटो और लोकेशन बीएमसी को शेयर कर देंगे उस जगह की बीएमसी साफ सफाई करके चली जाएगी फिर हमारा धरा भी तो क्लीन एंड ग्रीन रहेगा are aware that the garbage that we send out of our homes comes back to our bodies as toxins. My name is Vandana Trivedi. I want to let you know that there is garbage burning across dumps across our country. It is a serious health hazard and we need to do something about this. I'm a big fan of science fiction. I love Isaac Asimov. And in his books on the Foundation series, the protagonist, Harry Seldon, is a psychohistorian. And he looks at everything that happens in the world, all historical data, to figure out what's going to happen in the future. And I think that's a very powerful thought. We're so consumed with looking at the future that we forget to look at the past. And once in a while, if you remember to apply a rear view mirror and look at historical data, that can give you a lot of direction for the future. It applies across domains. In my day job, I run a company called Unmetric that focuses on past campaign and marketing data to help marketers create better campaigns and better content in the future. My talk at TEDx Gateway is focused on insights that people can derive from studying the New York Times obituaries to lead better lives. In general, I think the past has a lot to teach us, if we bother to look. Yo, my name is Sparsha. 13 years old, healing from New Jersey. Singer, songwriter, and rapper, in case you never heard of me. I'll be at TEDx Gateway 2016, and my big idea worth sharing is truly unique. It's about how I turn impossible into I'm possible. How I beat the odds despite every obstacle. So if you want to know how you can turn your life around too, just come and see me on stage, and I'm sure I won't disappoint you. Peace.
The reason that I started to share my story publicly was because I wanted to show people that even someone who is raised in an extremist ideology can grow up to promote peace. But I also wanted to show people how it was that I was able to leave that belief system. I wanted to explain that it was that interaction with people who I'd been taught negative stereotypes about that ultimately brought me out of it. Isolation is one of the most important ingredients in radicalizing someone. And so that's why I decided to start speaking publicly, to show people that we have to come together in order to defeat this problem. देखते आ रही हूँ कि लड़कियों के साथ भेदभाव किया जाता है उनको पढ़ाते लिखाते भी नहीं तो मैंने सोचा कि मैं इस पर एक ऐप बनाऊंगी जिसका नाम रहेगा वुमेन विल बी इस ऐप के थ्रू हम लड़कियों और औरतों तक उनके राइट्स के बारे में उनके हेल्थ के बारे में जैसे कि मैंस्ट्रल साइकिल या प्रेगनेंसी में कैसे हेल्थ केयर लेना चाहिए उसकी सही इन्फॉर्मेशन रहेगी और ज़्यादा इमरजेंसी होने पर वो अपने काउंसलर या डॉक्टर से भी शेयर कर सकते हैं तो इस ऐप से फीमेल इन्फेंटिसाइड फीमेल फिटिसाइड या चाइल्ड मैरिज ये सब रुक सकता है I believe in a world where technology actually brings us closer together and makes us understand each other better instead of isolating us and, and creating divides. I believe that augmented reality can be the technology that actually makes that happen. But in order to make that happen, we all need to work on it together.